welcome to my tutorial 13a it's titled how to make a maze part 2 it's a follow-up to 13 how to make a maze start by opening the 13 tutorial how to make a maze open the actions panel and now we're going to write the code in for some of these walls on the left key. Right after that semicolon, insert a line and type this. It's an if statement. It's a very long one. So in order to see it we want to click this little button right here. Move your library panel out of the way. It's an if statement. It says if if bracket bracket two open brackets ball underscore MC capital B hit test small h capital T bracket there's my wall one vertical movie clip bracket close bracket close bracket now these are called pipes there's two of them where you find them is in the uppercase of the slash that's just below the back space on the keyboard. You hit that twice and that does what's called the boolean or function. This here, all you need to do is put your cursor here, copy to there, so you got one bracket here and two here, and then just after that pipe, click, and then you can paste it and all you need to do is change it to vertical 2. Once you've got that done, you can just click here, paste it again, and change to vertical 3. And then add one more close bracket and your open curly bracket. This is a trace statement. Whatever is in these quotations is we're going to trace. And we're going to say this is just a left hit, meaning the left button hit one of these walls. Okay, let's do that and not to be concerned with this line for now and there's the close bracket for this if statement. So I have an if here with an open, I have another hit, hit here and it has an open bracket way down the end here and there's two, one for each if. Let's test this out. When the left key is hit Vertical 1, 2, or 3 will give me that trace hit. Test this out. There's my vertical 1. That's not much of a 1. There's my 2, my 3. And it's only going when I'm hitting the left. So I'm going until I hit it. And there, it hit it. It hit it, it hit it, it hit it. So I know that vertical 2 works. If I hit this one, it's hitting it. And if you're not sure, take it off right click on here and clear this output panel and left there it is it's hitting so I know that's working now I'm gonna clear the panel again it doesn't hit now because I'm using the right key right key right key right key right key right key I'm gonna move my panel over here it goes right through three but I'm using the right key now if I go left it hits it so we know that code works for those three walls I know there are six vertical walls, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this format. I'm going to do the next three, there's three plus three, and we'll see how that works out, and I'll, I'll do that with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click from here, this between these two brackets, and I'm going to copy all this if this works up to there so I have a bracket on each end of that long line right click I'm going to copy it I'm going to come up here click right here and I'm going to paste and I'm going to go back where I done that right here. This is where the paste is joined. 
and I recognize it because there's no pipes in here and I'm clicking here and two of those pipes which are the OR function one two and I just want to click format make sure there's no errors there's no errors and now all I got to do is change this to a four to a five to a five and a six now anytime I'm moving left and hit one of those any of those vertical walls I'll trace that I've hit them now we want to do the same thing for the right key so I'm going to take and copy this go all that and that will come all the way down for you no problem there and I'm going to right click copy it my cursor right here after that three semicolon insert a line and paste this is exactly the same except this will be a right hit now I just really want to do a format make sure I have no errors I want to test this just to make sure it's working at this point in time. If I am on a horizontal one, but when I'm on the vertical one, in this case vertical three, the right test works. My left test is working because I'm on vertical three. I haven't got the horizontal for this, and when I finally hit this one, the left test is still working. I can prove that by clearing this. Left works, right works. So at this point, I feel they're all working. I am now going to use the same code for my up and down keys. But instead of having wall vertical one, two, three, it'll be wall horizontal. And the hit hits will be hit up and hit down. I'll show you how to do it once more copy that right click copy it click after the semicolon insert a line paste it and all you're going to do is change the vertical words to horizontal and this word is going to be up I'll break now and when I have my action script done for the other key and this one I'll come back I have all the horizontals for the up key done I'm just going to copy this now copy this come down to my down key put my cursor here insert a line and paste my other if and all I need to change on this is down. Now, there were only six verticals, but there are eight horizontals, so I gotta add two more horizontals. Go up to the up key section, pan over till we get to the end of this long line and we want to pick up two of these ORs so right here right here it's the second OR set there's one set click right on here and drag that to copy it right till we get to pick up those first two closed brackets and leave that bracket open right click copy it go right here between these two brackets and paste that information and this is the end of our our line this will be horizontal 8 this will be horizontal 7 there's six, so we're in line. Start here with this 
four sign here click on it drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it to the same spot right there so there's one open bracket close there's one closed bracket left right click copy that come down to this section down here which is my down section down key click right here between these last two close brackets and paste that now makes these sections have the eight horizontal walls let's go up to the top here click on this if hold your mouse down and copy all them hits for the vertical walls right click copy it come down here we're in the up key section there's two curly brackets I want to be between them and paste that so now the up key if it happens to hit one of those vertical walls will work as well come down here there's three curly brackets this time we want to be between these two here so click here so there should be two curly brackets here I believe and we're going to paste in and now there should be three curly brackets in the end and that looks right I'm just checking my auto format so now we have the vertical walls everywhere go on this if right here click it drag it till you get this one curly bracket so it's one two three four lines right click copy that go to the top between these two curly brackets so click here on that curly bracket enter a line paste this information and we gotta do this in one more spot up here on this one here between these two curly brackets paste it and now when we use in the left key up here we have the left hit so here we have to have a left hit come down here we had a right hit here we need a right hit come down we have an up key so we need an up hit going too far and here we need down hits and we'll just make sure they're right before we check this out there's my down hits for my down key there's my two up hits for my up keys there's my two right hits for my right keys okay let's test this out right key left key up key down key down key up key right key left key I think that's all working let's go back to scene one for a minute and make sure everything is locked except the ball layer and let's put the ball somewhere on one of these paths so I've got the ball layer selected I'm going to click this because I think I'm pretty much finish those long or statements and set my stage around 50 to find my ball and make sure the ball is on one of the paths whether it's a good path or bad path doesn't matter and here I can go up or down and hit these items open my action script and here's where we're going to use this code
and this code says when the ball movie clip hits one of these vertical walls I want the, to take the ball movie clip x-axis so it's, not, it's almost the same as this but I want it to be instead of a negative 3 I just want it to be 3 you don't put a plus sign in here just this plus equals 3 so this will make it bounce back if it hits that wall when it's going left if I'm going left I want to go here we'll take this and type the same so you can cut this excuse me copy this and paste it here so if I happen to hit a horizontal wall while I'm going left it will send me back three pixels come down here you can just copy this copy this and paste it down here and it has to be the opposite sign if this is going to send me one way the negative will send me the other so put a minus sign here that will work the next line for the right key would be down here and it's the same as this line here so you can just cut it and paste it make sure it's a minus 3 in here looks good now we're dealing with the y-axis see the y-axis you can copy this copy paste it in here and this is a minus direction I want it to go the opposite direction so I take this minus sign out delete that and here I want to have the same thing so I can just paste again because it's already remembered my paste and this can't be the minus so take the minus sign out that handles my up information come down here copy this Y for the down copy paste it here where this is a not a minus this has to be a minus and copy this and paste it here and I believe now that the ball should not be able to leave that path here I go can't go through there can't go right or left and we have the best part of the maze working okay close that off go back to scene one lock all the layers make it 25% select the paths layer delete it select the dead ends layer delete it if you want to clean these up you're welcome to uh, now let's make our background click here somewhere and let's pick up a background color of gray yeah, it looks pretty nice. The red shows up on that. Let's open our balls, unlock our ball layer. Right click there and click on the ball and put it right here. Open up a new layer. Call it S T O P S T A R. Stop start. And make sure the ball's layer is locked right click on the excuse me oh click on the first frame of that stop start layer let's make this a little bigger 100% find that stop start layer right there and pick up your text tool pick up a nice red color and write start s t a r t that's good and come way over the other end right here 
stop. Start, stop. You can call it something else if you wish, but that's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to put that right on the end of that. I'm going to open it up for a minute, make sure that's where I want to be. Yep, that's my stop. All right. Let's test it out, see if I can get from one end to the other. We'll have to take these, this this panel off in a few minutes. But I'm just making sure that I can go try and left and right, making sure I can go down these lanes. Yeah, just making sure. And that's it. Let's go back to scene one. Lock this, all the layers. Right click on the horizontal numbers layer, delete it. We don't need them. Right click on the vertical numbers layer, delete it. We don't need that. That's the end of this tutorial part two. I am going to make a part three to splice it up a little bit. If you want to have a look at that, you're welcome to. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.